Hey, it's Chris Allingham, the virtual Whipper Bullet. So I was walking through Walmart a couple of weeks ago and I saw these Kingsford sausages. Uh, I had never seen them before. I have seen their pork baby back ribs and I've seen their pulled pork, which I've tried before and I've done videos on that. I'll post a link to that in the description of this video. Uh, but I thought I'd try them and bring them home. So let's take a look at the product. Here are the two Kingsford branded sausage varieties. One is called Home Style Smoked Sausage. The other is called Cajun Style Smoked Sausage. On the Home Style Sausage, it says hickory smoked pork seasoned to please every taste, which means it's a mild flavored sausage. Not gonna offend anybody. It's also not gonna light anybody up. On the Cajun Style Sausage, it says hickory smoked pork with a kick of Cajun style seasoning. So you can expect uh, more spiciness in this version. Both packages say no artificial preservatives, flavors, or colors, no MSG added, and the products are gluten-free. Both weigh 12 ounces. Both are made with all natural ingredients. Both are 170 calories per serving. A serving is two ounces or 56 grams. Taking a look at the ingredients list for the home-style smoked sausage, ingredients are pork, water, salt, sugar, spices, including ground mustard, garlic powder, natural spice extractives, rice hulls, and celery juice powder. Celery juice powder, of course, is used as a curing agent. Rice hulls, that's an interesting ingredient. My understanding is that rice hulls uh, don't really have much taste and don't have much nutritional value. They have a little bit of fiber, but you see in the fiber numbers on the um, nutritional facts, there's really very little fiber here. So probably added as a binder or to improve the texture of the sausage. Uh, taking a look at the ingredients for the Cajun version, uh, same first four ingredients, pork, water, salt, sugar, then spices, actual onions, garlic, rice hulls, and celery juice powder. Both products are produced for Kingsford by a company called Polk's Meat Products out of McGee, Mississippi. These sausages are fully cooked. They don't come with any cooking instructions on the package or any serving suggestions. So I went ahead and put them into my Weber Smoky Mountain cooker as I was cooking some pork butts. I just put them on the top cooking grate as you see here. I left them in the cooker for one hour. And in this photo, you see how they looked. You notice that the Cajun casings are much darker than the home style casings. So sausages have come out of the smoker, brought them into the kitchen, got them on a cutting board here. I'm cutting the home style sausage on the bias just for kind of a nice presentation. Pretty juicy. And here's the Cajun sausage. It is extremely hot still. So I grab a paper towel and I proceed to slice. Now you'll notice that this sausage is more wrinkly and you'll notice that it does appear more dried out inside than the home style sausage. That could have something to do with where I place it on the cooker. I think the Cajun sausage was more toward the edge of the grate and the homestyle sausage had some positioned a little bit more toward the interior of the grate, at least most of the sausage was. And here's a closer view of the homestyle sausage, again looking nice and moist and juicy. And here's the Cajun sausage. You see it is uh, a little more dry and coarse looking. So let's taste the sausages. This one is the homestyle sausage. Casing is a little bit tough. The flavor is very mild, not offensive. It's okay. And now let's try the Cajun sausage. The casing is very tough, but the flavor is quite good. And I saw similar comments about the casing on the Kingsford website. Here's one from Ripley79 from Texas. He knows a thing or two about sausage, probably. He says, I would have given it five stars if the casing wasn't so tough. I had the same experience, especially on the Cajun sausage. There's no indication on the package whether this is a natural casing or not. I think they have to say if it is. So my guess is it's a collagen casing. Whatever it is, uh, it was more tough than I really like. So in the end, I give these Kingsford sausages a thumbs up in terms of their flavor, thumbs up in terms of the texture of the meat, but a thumbs down in terms of the casing, way too tough. These sausages are available at select Walmarts. I found mine at the Walmart in Morgan Hill, California for $3.96 a package. 
Well, that concludes this video. I want to thank you for watching. I appreciate you very much. If you have any comments about this product, if you tried it, if you liked it or didn't like it, please put your comments in down below. I read all the comments and I try to reply to as many as I can. If you've gotten this far into the video, please like it. And I appreciate it if you would subscribe and click the notification bell. It does help other people find my videos on YouTube. And until next time, take care, everybody. Bye-bye.